Let's see more on acceleration and velocity. Imagine we have a car going from point A to C. Just see how it goes. So imagine there was some force applied to it at the point A with which it kept going forward but then eventually due to gravity and resistance it stopped at point C. Now let's see frame by frame what is happening in this entire duration. At the point A we have displacement 0, acceleration 0 and velocity 0. Now from here onwards once the push is applied we get acceleration as positive and therefore velocity as positive. So what is happening? The velocity of the car is increasing, the acceleration of the car is also increasing. Now as we go forward it both of them keeps increasing and at this point somewhere the acceleration kind of stops because it's sort of midpoint. So here at the midpoint we get acceleration as 0 and velocity maximum and from there this point onwards the acceleration becomes negative and the velocity will still be positive. So what is happening is the velocity will reduce and that is why acceleration will be negative. Acceleration is change of velocity. So as the velocity if the velocity is decreasing acceleration will be negative. So the car will go on, it will keep slowing, 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 slowing and at the final point the displacement will be complete from A to C, the acceleration will be zero because the car has stopped and there is no change in velocity and the velocity will also be zero. So this is one complete cycle. What is happening here if we see again, the car is starting at point A it keeps increasing in speed and then at this point it starts slowing down and then it keeps slowing down and then acceleration is negative velocity is still positive at point C the car is stopping and the acceleration becomes zero now let's look at the average velocity will be AC by T and average acceleration will be zero because final velocity minus initial velocity by T so final velocity is 0, initial velocity is 0, therefore the average acceleration will be 0 because for some time it was positive, for equal time then it was negative. So that's how the average acceleration will be 0. I hope this helped you understand a little bit about velocity and acceleration and if you have any more doubts you can ask me in the comment section.